What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys an update on my life and everything that's been going on recently. It's been about a month that I've recorded anything, but that's because I've been so busy lately, a lot has been going on, and I know it's been a while since I've sat down and shared any of this with you guys, so I decided today is the day I'm finally going to sit down and update you guys on everything that's been going on lately. So let's just get straight into this. First thing I want to thank you guys for is thank you for helping me reach 3,000 subscribers here on YouTube. It's definitely been a great journey and I absolutely love making content and sharing things with you guys, sharing my life, my career journey, how my side business is going, and also a bunch of my other interests as well. And for the most part, you guys absolutely love that. So thank you guys for helping me reach 3,000 subscribers. I know it's been a minute since I actually hit 3,000 subscribers, but again, I've been so busy, I haven't recorded anything in about a month. All the videos that I've been uploading are videos that I've had prepared for a while now, and that's why I like to schedule my videos in advance. So whenever I have to take a month hiatus, I have videos and I have content for you guys. But now I'm trying to get back into recording and making content for you guys, so hopefully there's going to be some new things coming very soon. But thank you guys so much once again for helping me reach 3,000 subscribers. Now, as I've, I think I mentioned, I think I made a video on it whenever I returned to work. August 16th, I returned to work finally after a year and a half of being laid off due to COVID. And everything's been going great there. Right now, I'm still part-time. I am working about 32 hours a week, which is exactly where I want to be. Even 24 hours a week is perfect with the side business, but 32 is definitely more ideal. Um, but... Definitely back on overnights. It took a while for me to get back into routine. For the most part, I try each week to try to get three days off together. That not only helps me catch up on my sleep the first day off, but I'm also able to relax, do a lot of my other stuff, a lot of my other responsibilities along with the side business. So that's kind of what I've been trying to do three days off each week with 32 hours. It's definitely doable. And for the most part, they've been scheduling me for exactly that. So I'm not having to go and make switches or giveaways often, but I've been getting exactly what I want on the schedule since returning. Now, I could have taken a full-time position. A lot have been offered since returning. I have declined them all because I had to sit down, number one, to think if that's even something that I wanted to take. Right now, my sonority for being still on part-time is fourth from the top on the sonority list for part-timers. And right now I'm gonna have about eight people underneath me. Whereas if I switch over to full-time, yes, I'm guaranteed my hours, 40 hours a week, I'm guaranteed have and know my schedule for the entire year, know exactly what I'm gonna be working for the entire calendar year. But I'm not going to be able to pick my line. I'm gonna have whatever's left over because I'm gonna be starting at the bottom of the list. No sonority at all, I'm gonna be at the very bottom and everybody else above me gets to pick their lines, I'm left with whatever nobody wants to pick. So I'm gonna to have to work every weekends, I'm gonna to have to work every holiday, and stuff like that, and that's just not something right now I want. If I stay on part-time, I should be able to get exactly what I want for hours. Even if I wanted to switch from overnights to afternoons, in a couple months, I should definitely be able to do that as well if I want to. And also, financially speaking, I've looked into it, I crunched the numbers, and it wasn't worth me taking full-time over the 32 hours a week I'm getting right now, because that's only $75 more a week because working 32 compared to 40 hours, 40 hours I get taxed more on. So I'm fine with 32 hours a week, even 24 hours, and doing my side business on the side. So work's been going great. I'm glad to be back to work and keeping my mind motivated. It's just I have a lot less time to be able to record and edit videos, because that does take time as well, than before I returned to work. I had all the free time, but I'm definitely glad to be back to work. Another thing that I never even mentioned yet, I don't believe, is the fact that I did buy a brand new truck and I absolutely love it. My 2010 GMC Sierra was starting to have problems. It was already 11 years old. This year I already sunk $700 into it. I knew the brakes front and rear were already going on it. Last year I had a front left caliper that did catch on fire while I was driving. So I know there's a lot of issues with the brakes, but I knew they were starting to go and that was gonna be costly. 
The rear shocks, actually I think it's front and rear shocks and struts were starting to leak and starting to go. The tailgate lock was starting to go. Um, and finally, after I already finalized the sale for the new truck, it did go. Since I already got exactly what I paid for the truck in trade-in, I got 13 grand for my truck whenever I traded it in. I was happy just to get it gone because if I were to sell it myself, I would have been able to get a lot more money out of it, but I definitely would have had to fix the brakes, fix anything else that needed to be fixed, and then go and do it, and it would have been more of a hassle for that all to happen. Since they were offering me exactly what I paid for the truck three years ago, I decided to trade it in. Now, it was my first vehicle, so it was a little sad to see it go, but I did purchase a 2021 Dodge Ram Classic, which I absolutely love. It's a night edition, so there was no chrome on it. Everything was blacked out. It looked amazing. The paint was black as well, so it was black on black. Everything on this looked amazing, and for the first time in my life, having something brand new, especially a vehicle that costs so much money, I wasn't expecting at 25 to have my dream truck, and I was able to accomplish that. So my first brand new vehicle at 25 is amazing, and I did it all on my own. Just hard work over the years, working and saving my money. I was able to afford this, and I'm more than happy with it. Now, unfortunately, because like I just said, it's been a month that I haven't been able to record any videos. I actually bought the truck almost a month ago, and I haven't been able to make a video about it yet because I've just been so busy. I want to make a review for you guys because before I bought the truck, I was looking up reviews on YouTube. Either the person knew about the truck, just the camera work was terrible, or they were great with the camera work, but they didn't have too much knowledge of the truck. Since I'm great with camera work and I know about the truck, especially after owning it for a month now, I'm able to share all the stuff that they missed and hopefully make a way better video. It's just I have not had time to do that, but expect to see that very, very soon. Now with the side business, like I've already was talking about, business has been booming. I'm really thankful that I'm able to have a almost second income. Some weeks it's actually more than I'm making doing my 32 hours at work when I'm making $20 an hour. So I'm definitely really thankful for that. And I've, right now I have over 3,000 comic books in my inventory. I have a lot of video games, even though I've been selling a ton of video games and consoles. I'm almost sold out of all that stuff. But a lot of people absolutely love their comics right now. And a lot of mine are more valuable, great condition. So I'm able to charge a little bit more than what other people are charging in the area. And people are absolutely buying them up, which is awesome. Another thing I've been doing with my comic books uh, for the ones that are slow to move, I've been doing mystery boxes. Everybody that has bought a mystery box from me absolutely loves them. For 25 comics, on average, it's about $50 for the box. For 50 comics, on average, it's about $100 for the box. So that equals out to be $2 per comic, but I definitely put the quality in the box, in the comics, that I'm going to be putting in this mystery box because it just helps me get rid of inventory quicker. I put a lot of Batman, Spider-Man, or anything that if somebody only wants certain things, I try to accommodate and put all of that stuff in their mystery box as long as I have enough inventory. If I only have 10 Iron Man and they tell me they only want Iron Man, I obviously can't do a 25 comic box because I only have 10 in my inventory. Whereas if they tell me they want Iron Man, Avengers, Spider-Man, and maybe a few others, I'm able to at least hit the 25 mark and put comics that they're interested in in the box as well. So business has been booming there. A lot more sales and a lot more repeat customers, which I absolutely love because at least in my area, when it comes to selling comics, I'm one of the more honest upfront sellers, especially with my mystery boxes. I don't go into it trying to get rid of all of the crappy inventory that I have and try to make a buck on it. I'm trying to actually sell stuff that I'm proud of and my mystery boxes I definitely take pride in because people absolutely love them. And of course, I do have to talk about YouTube for a minute here. As you guys see, the channel has been shifting a little ways. There's right now no more hockey cards on the channel just because I honestly have lost interest in collecting hockey cards. As you see on the channel right now, I've been having a lot more fun collecting comic books and Marvel collectibles and different things like that because that to me is a lot more fun. I did love collecting hockey cards, but right now I'm taking a long break from it because I enjoy comic books a lot more right now. 
and they're a lot more fun in my opinion and since I'm selling them it's more of a business move as well I'm enjoying what I'm selling so it helps me make videos on that as well so there's no more hockey card videos on the channel but there's going to be some other videos coming out soon. There's a lot more selling videos where I talk about things that I've sold and purchased. A lot more comic book videos, not only sharing what I have in my inventory, but what I have in my personal collection. And a lot more other how-to videos and different things like that. And hopefully soon some more unboxing videos. i got to try to find a few more things that not only am... I thinking they're gonna be great to make an unboxing video for, but things that I'm interested in unboxing in the first place, definitely is something that I want to look into. But the channel is definitely shifting. Right now it's two times a week instead of three videos a week. There is gonna be a video every Tuesday and every Saturday. For the most part, Saturdays are gonna be video game related just because that's how it's always been on my channel. That's where I started was video games. I wanna keep that, but every, so often I might have to put different videos on Saturdays just to fill in the blanks because since I haven't been able to do a lot of my videos lately, I'm also not be able to game and make content gaming wise like I was once doing. I'm still able to talk about video games at least make sit down videos where I'm talking about video games and stuff like that, but I definitely want to do more. So if you guys have any uh, ideas for videos for YouTube or anything else you guys want to see me unbox or do here on the channel Please let me know. I really appreciate having reached 3,000 subscribers and I definitely want to start making better and more content for you guys and definitely taking a month off from doing that I have been wanting to come back and make more videos and now is the time I have a bunch of ideas I'm gonna start making them and hopefully make some great content for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video me giving you guys an updates on my life, giving you guys an updates on everything that's been going on lately. And thank you guys for helping me reach 3,000 subscribers. And soon we're on the road to 4,000. And I definitely think by the ends of 2022, we're going to be hopefully at 5,000 subscribers here on the channel, which is amazing. If you guys asked me a couple years back if I thought we would ever reach this milestone, I honestly would say no, but that's because the content I was making years ago is very different than the content I'm making right now. Even though not every video is a hit, not every video I'm getting hundreds and thousands of views, I'm still making the content that I love more than just content that I think is going to get views, which sets me aside from, I think, other YouTubers that are just trying to make content that's going to get tons of views. I'm making content that I want to make, that I'm enjoying, and everything that I talk about in these videos and sharing these videos are stuff that I'm interested in talking about and sharing with you guys. Especially when it comes to my collection, I'm sharing only the stuff that I absolutely love to collect. That's why I got rid of hockey cards because I haven't been enjoying hockey card collecting. So I wanted to take a really long break from that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for listening to me and giving you guys a kind of an update on my life work, my new truck, which you guys hopefully will see soon, and everything else that's been going on recently. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.